Lifetime in repeat. What is going on guys? I've just come back off the first holiday so it got me thinking, I've got two more holidays. One of them is going abroad and it goes to the airport. So I got thinking of all the crazy stuff in the airports. I got thinking of all the weird checkout stuff, of all the weird stuff you have to experience and of all like the weird people you're gonna find. So this video is like going to the airport video. I don't know what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> Number one, you have to arrive so damn early. Like if it's long haul, it's like you're talking three, four hours and if just even two hours before. Like, there's only so many shops and there's only so many things you can do to occupy your time. And then you end up just sitting there with like a million other people doing the same, just kind of like sitting there waiting for their flight. So you get there two hours before and you think, okay, right, clearly it's gonna take a while to get through checkout. This is why they got us there. You go to this machine, right? I'm not kidding, this happened last time. It's like a passport machine, right? And you put your passport in there and it comes up like this and takes a picture of you. It's a Gatwick Airport. And um, it came up, took a picture of my chest, registered that was me and let me through. So that's always cool. So anyway, after about 20 minutes of panicking, getting patted down in areas that you really hoped no one except your love would ever touch, um, you're through, you're through, you send your luggage off, you wave a goodbye, hoping that you won't have to give the call to an insurance company anytime soon, and you wave a goodbye, you see your plane, you're like, get all hyped, and then you realise all the planes look the same, so it's probably not your plane, and uh, yeah, you go through to duty free, uh, and you go there, there's always these overpriced items, like, that only people with so much money that bother wasting them, like bottles of whiskey for like 600 pounds number one who's gonna get pissed off the head on a plane when there's probably a business meeting or something you know you got chocolate you know you get all the essentials you buy some crisps you buy some chocolate some drinks some water something like that and then you go ahead and then you realize that you don't really have enough money for everyone <laughs> like some of these shops that you it's not normal shops like it's like a shopping mall you walk around nice cheap item sales no nah, no nah, it's nothing like that you get there and you have 50 pounds, say. <laughs> You're like, okay, I can get a, a top, some stuff, all sorted. You get there, you blow 50 pound on a pair of Louis Vuitton socks and then suddenly you can't eat and you're eating the socks for dinner. It's literally like that, guys. The funniest thing, I think, is when you first get there and they say, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions. And it's like, okay, right? Interrogation time. They're like, have you packed your bag yourself? Yes. Okay, you're through. Like, literally, so stupid. Like, anyone can say yes. Like, who the hell else is packed? Nah, nah, I've got a trained dog who packed my bag. He's really cool, you like to meet. You know, and then, like, it's like, have you left your bag unattended? Well, it's been in the back of the cab. I've been leaving it on the escalator, and it's been the loft for, like, freaking six months. So, I mean, if you're talking about leaving unattended, shoot me now, you know? So then, your flight gets called. Well, actually, rewind to that. You look at the board and it's all these different flights, all these different numbers. So you have to try find your flight, it's like a needle in the haystack. You see it and you're like, okay, at least it's here. <laughs> like, you hope it's here anyway. <clears throat> you hope it's not delayed. Your flight gets called, right? You go to the person and they they're kind of look at your luggage and it's almost like they look at it and they see like how far you can walk without probably dying. So, <clears throat> dying? <laughs> how far you can walk without dying. So then it's like, so you got a lot of luggage, 94. It's like, and then you end up walking the first two miles. Like, are they trying to save petrol or something? Like generally, what the hell? So, and then you get to the plane and this bright orange woman is greeting you. And you know, it's a good job she has teeth because she would just melt in it, into the background, you know, with all the orange airport companies these days. Um, so she takes your thing and then she, she she lets you in and you go in the pine and you sit down in your seat and you think, oh, this is comfortable, only two hours I can do this. Then the guy that's sitting next to you will like literally like stand above you, your head is here and then like leaning up and like trying to like do some freaky shit. Like onboard entertainment is like freaking sex show or something. I don't know about that. And you fly and then you get all your ear popping and stuff. But anyway guys, airports are fun and you're gonna see me vlog it's just kind of an update video, it's a random airport video. But um, I um, need to kind of tell what's happening with the uploads. So, sorry guys for the random switch of video, but I just wanted to give you an update. I'm gonna, this is gonna be uploaded early, and the reason being is because I'm on holiday the next couple weeks. So there's video, this video is gonna last for like maybe one or two weeks. But that's just quickly letting you know why it's uploaded so early. But I hope you enjoyed guys, have an awesome time at the airport once again. And peace out guys, love you.
And thank you for 3,000 subscribers. We literally just hit it. Boom. Thank you guys. Peace.